Hey there DIY coders, welcome to HTML Quickie, where we give you HTML for you to survive the HTML world. Before we get started, there will be a link down in the description below for you to check out. If you're an absolute beginner or you have no clue what HTML is, that is a video for you to check out. But if you're all good, we'll go ahead with this video. Before we can get started learning the tag we'll be learning, have your text editor out, your web browser out, and have those two applications open to the file we'll be working on. And today we'll be learning the word break tag. So uh, let's let's put a P tag here and we'll write our ABC. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Hit save. Okay, so we have our ABCs here. Uh, so let's demonstrate what this does. So supposedly this is, uh, shouldn't say supposedly, what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to, it's supposed to create a break, uh, a potential break in the word when needed. So let me just give you a visual representation of that. So I'll save what we have here. Oh, uh, and you won't see anything different from what we, uh, sh what what was shown here earlier. Uh, but once I resize this window, you'll notice that the Z has moved. But I uh, resize it more, you'll notice that this uh, every other letter except for the A has moved down one line. Uh, so what's going on here is that. Wherever the word break tag is placed within a word, you are letting the browser know that is a place where you would like the word to separate. If say the square that it's in, it gets too small. In this case, that square is our web browser. We'll make this window bigger again, and then you'll notice that all the letters are together again. And let me demonstrate this some more. Let's say we put a word break tag somewhere in the middle, right? We save, okay. So let's shrink this a little bit down to the Z. And there you go. You will see the Z moving down one line. Okay, let's touch the Y now. And there we go. We see half of the letters going down one line as expected by this, this uh, word break tag here. But what you'll also notice that where we put the word break between the Y and the Z, the Z is no longer in its own line, but it's with half of the letters that went down one line. Uh, that, that would be because that the Z no longer needs to have its own line because the Z itself is small enough to fit with this half of the letters. Okay, so now let's move towards the Z. And what we get is the Z having its own line now because there's not enough room within this window for it to fit with the with one half of the letters. Okay, let's move it down more. And then because you'll notice that this line of, so now you'll notice that this line of letters will not break apart. Instead, it will go beyond the view of the web browser that we have here. So now this is scrollable left and right in order to view the rest of the line of letters. So we'll go down some more and you'll notice that the, the A and the letters after the, uh, after the A now has their own separate line. And that's how the WBR tag works, all right? If you like this video, please break that thumbs up button. If you did not like this video, uh, you can break that thumbs down button. And don't forget to break out your comments down in the comment section below. And if you think I've earned it, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss my new videos. That's all for now. I thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.